politics bore me. Let's not bring it up at all. Good morning. It is the Monday morning cup of coffee. I'm your host, Tommy Womack. Let's have a sip together, shall we? Well, we met our deal and better with the uh, crowdfunding. Our goal was $15,000 and the fundraiser Indiegogo campaign topped out at $17,335. I think that's what it was. Within a few there, more or less. Uh, so we're thrilled and we're going to be able to get a lot done with that. Uh, I just started autographing and mailing out records um, yesterday and uh, taking them to the post office. And uh, as soon as our copies of 30 Years Shot to Hell come along, I'll be uh, autographing and sending out a shitload of those because a lot of people bought both the CDs, the I Thought I Was Fine and the anthology 30 Years Shot to Hell. So... I'm looking forward to that. Well, not looking forward to it. I hate mailing things, but I, I, I'm looking forward to doing that for all you, the fans, the special ones, the ones who gave. So thank you so much for a very successful crowdfunding. Uh, looking forward to what's next. We're getting some great press. Carrie Baker at Conqueroo Media has been doing a bang-up job. Paul Needham, uh, my designer and website guru, and uh, basically my manager for the last few weeks uh, has, has kept me right on target, right on port. And there is Stephen Judge at School Kids Records, without whom none of this would be going on. So I'm, I'm really chuffed, really excited about how it's all gone. And uh, I've been hearing great reports about the record. People seem to like the record and the reviews have been really good. So, so I'm a, I'm a happy camper when it comes to uh, I thought I was fine, and I can't wait to get in my hands a copy of that double CD anthology, Thirty Years Shot to Hell. Um, it's got three government cheese tracks on it. It's got a biscuits track. It's got like three daddy tracks, and then the rest is me. Forty two songs, more than you'll possibly stand. But boy, you know, it'll be hunt and peck for you, maybe. You'll go to this one and go, oh, I like this one, this one. Oh, I've never heard this one before. That's great! You know, you might, you might do something like that. No song today, sorry. No song to start off the show. Uh, I just didn't feel like I had a song in me. I've played all the new songs from the new record. And uh, next week, I'll play you a song. How's that? So you have to tune in next week. <laughs> Excuse me. Fly flew in my mouth. We have flies all over the house. It's you know we're a sanctuary for flies. We advertise among other flies. Uh, there are radio stations that only flies listen to, and we uh, broadcast on them. Okay, that's going nowhere. Uh, Saturday, November twentieth. 2021 at D's at 6 p.m. It's the Tommy Womack birthday gig and uh, featuring Jonathan Bright, Dan Seymour, Lisa Oliver Gray, and the return of John Jackson on lead guitar since my boy Nathan has another gig that night with kids his own size. And I wish him the best of luck. And we're going to play 6 to 7.30 at D's Saturday, November 20th. And would love to have you there. And uh, probably going to make a Facebook event out of it. And uh, all that rigmarole. And I always have a gig on my birthday. It's this thing with me. I always do. Uh, because it helps me fight off the urge to slit my wrists. That's, that's one purpose of it. The other purpose is just having a rocking good birthday party. But keeping me from slitting my wrists, that's a consideration as well. Anyway, thank you for watching the Monday Morning Cup of Coffee. You have yourself a good one. God bless you. Don't let the bastards get you down. I'll see you next Monday.